Hey guys, remember Jody Lee put up a video yesterday of Ryan saying how him and Ken got into a bit of a heated argument over text messages, which I would love to see. I'm sure you would too. <laughs> now, Gypsy has responded because she wants to put her side of the story out there, okay? So I thought I would show you guys <laughs> what she had to say about the whole ordeal. And he's like, that post of... Uh, life with Gypsy Rhodes or something like that. And he was talking about that picture that's going viral, that it did not come from my account. I didn't post this picture, but it was a picture of me and him side like together and then a picture of me and Ken. And it said something to the fact that I had to kiss a frog to get to the prince or something. I did not write that. I, I may have not been respectful in certain areas I may have not always been that thoughtful of how things would appear to him when posting pictures of me and Ken. But the last thing I'm going to do is be cruel. I might live my life and enjoy my time with Ken and my relationship with Ken, but I'm not going to be cruel to Ryan. And I'm not going to ever say anything like that about him. I'm just not. I'm not going to be disrespectful. And so when I told him that that was not me that posted that, he calmed down. He was chill. And then he's like, well, okay, well, how are you doing? And I'm like, I have got to go. I'm eating dinner. I got to go. And he's like, well, don't hang up on me. So I hung up. Ken was sitting across from me. And Ken had overheard Ryan yelling at me through the phone. And then Ryan started texting me. I looked at my phone and Ken is like, what, he, what is he saying? And I handed Ken my phone. He read the text and Ken got a little upset because Ryan was out of pocket. He was being aggressive. And so emotions got the better of Ken and he started texting Ryan. It got aggressive back and forth in an argument. Once Ken cooled down, he's like, I shouldn't have said all that stuff. And I was like, it's okay. You were upset. You were being protective over me. I get it. And I blocked Ryan's number. So I, at least it was another fake number that he creates to call me or text me. So that's what really went down last night. Okay, so she says that she would never say something like that to Ryan about the whole, you know, him being a frog and all of that stuff. And she said it was a fake account, which is fair enough. But then she goes on to pretty much paint the picture of Ryan being this all aggressive guy, which obviously he would be upset if I saw someone talking about my private parts like that. I would be very upset, very upset. So, no, I don't believe Ryan was aggressive. I believe he would have been very emotional, very upset, very hurt, you know? So, she can't keep painting this picture that he's this overly aggressive guy and that she needs, you know, her other man, her Ken boy, to come and save the day and save her every time. I mean, save yourself personally, that's how I see it. But, in all honesty, I don't believe Ryan was being aggressive. And she keeps saying that she has to keep changing her number. That Ryan keeps getting all these fake numbers. Now Ryan, he's saying no, that's not true. I only called her a couple of times. I mean, we are still married, we do still have to communicate. That's normal. I'm not stalking her. So he said that. I'm just telling this story. I didn't like that live. Like when she said it, like that she has to change her number because of me. It's bullshit. Number one, it's bullshit. But and yeah, Gypsy mentioned it alive. I saw just saw a comment. Yeah, she blocked my cell phone number out of respect for Ken. I've already gone over that. Like, but she needs to realize, like, sometimes I still need to talk to her. Like, technically, we still are married, but that's why I used a Google Voice number the first time and then my friend's phone the second time. Like, guys, that's in, like, a month and a half, guys. Like, a month. Like... I don't like how she insinuated that I bother her every day and text her every day. That, so far from the truth.
so far from the truth. And I don't appreciate that that's how she insinuated it, that she's having to change her number because I'm stalking her. That's never been the case, and she knows that. Now, do I have moments where, uh, you know, like last night when we argued, I did text after I made contact, but I mean, like, guys, I don't stalk her like that. So Ryan clearly has a different story. Now, Gypsy, she could prove otherwise. She could show us the text messages. She could show us the thousands of phone calls, you know. I mean, look at Baby Reindeer. There was 41,000 text messages there. You know, she could do the same thing. Does he have 41,000 text messages to you, Gypsy? I doubt it. I doubt it. That's why you're not showing it. <laughs> now, she keeps trying to paint this narrative about how controlling Ryan is how he keeps, you know, looking over his shoulder. I haven't seen the latest episode. Me and Jodie Lee, we haven't had a chance to meet up to watch the latest episode. So I'm really curious about how bad Ryan is starting to get painted in the episode. Apparently he was looking over his shoulder. She kept saying all this stuff. I'm like, oh, uh, really? I wonder, I wonder if that's even true. I want to see it from my own perspective, what happened there. Now, she says how he has to keep going on live because he needs to defend himself. Yeah, I know. I know um, Ryan was saying a bunch of stuff last night. I think I'm just starting to expect that every Tuesday he's going to hop on a live and try to defend himself because another episode came out and he didn't look exactly the best. I always said I am not going to trash talk Ryan. I'm going to let the show and his actions and my actions speak volumes more than defending ourselves more than trying to argue with each other throw shade at each other i'm not about that if he's some type of way people are going to find out on their own by watching the show and if i'm painted out to be the bad guy well then clearly i made some mistakes along those those journeys that I've been making too. I'm not perfect. At least I could take accountability and say, hey, I'm still learning. So she's basically pulling Ryan down here saying, oh, you know, he's going to get on live and defend himself. Yeah, what do you expect? Of course he's going to get on alive and defend himself. Your show is going to try and paint a picture on a narrative that you want. You're making him out to be this horrible villain. And you keep saying, oh, I'm not going to trash talk him. Yeah, you are. Your whole show is one big trash talk to Ryan. So what do you expect? Of course he's going to get up and defend himself. So I don't like this high almighty road she keeps trying to take. Like, oh, you know, I don't have to say anything to defend myself. Well, yeah, duh. Duh. Of course you don't have to say anything. Poor Ryan is the one whose name you're trying to, you know, push in the mud. He's got to try and defend himself as far as I'm concerned. That's how I see it. Now, Ryan, he makes a good point here because he says how, you know, she's here saying how aggressive he is, how controlling he is, but who was the person that took her phone? It wasn't Ryan. It wasn't Ryan. <laughs> Ken. Ken is the one that took the phone. Picture on TikTok, and I was so mad, like, because I don't say anything negative about her. Uh, apparently, she doesn't like me doing lives. She did mention that to me on a text. She doesn't like my lives. Shouldn't have contacted her, me being mad like that. But she said it wasn't her, so. But let me ask you this. I saw one person say that I was controlling for asking who was she texting in that episode. Guys, we were driving, uh, we were driving and uh, her face was buried in her phone. And, you know, I was trying to talk to her. So that's why I said, who are you texting? Guys, they can edit to make it sound so, so crazy. I mean, if that's controlling, I don't, I didn't grab her phone. I didn't like grab her phone and say, who are you texting? Like a creepo would, you know, that didn't do that. Uh, but, you know, just a minute ago, Ken starts texting on her phone for her. So call me creepy. But anyway. Now again, I can't make a judgment call in the episode yet, so I've got to see for myself how bad Ryan acted in the episode, and I'll be trying to look at that and see how they edited it, because I know they're going to edit Ryan to look as bad as they can. So poor Ryan, he's here trying to defend himself. But what I do know is Ken did use Gypsy's phone to argue with her ex. 
I mean, that could be a bit controlling. I mean, apparently she let him have the phone, but you know, we don't know. We only know her side and obviously she's gonna defend Ken because he's her boo, he's her man. So we don't know, we don't know the full story, but at the moment it looks like Ken's the one that's controlling things a little bit. I don't know, I don't know. The other thing that Ryan said there was how Gypsy doesn't like him going live. Now she does rebut this and I'll play that. And I'm totally fine with him doing lives. I just, there's some things that I feel like if you're gonna talk about your life, then talk about your life. Don't talk about me. Talk about your hobbies. Talk about wrestling. Talk about what makes your heart tick. Like, make it your life. Don't make it all about me. So when I saw that, it made me laugh because I'm thinking, <laughs> what do you expect him to talk about? You literally left your husband for another man and he has to watch you all over social media and that's all everybody wants to talk about is you. So people are going to ask him questions. You expect him to ignore that? No, no. The reason that you don't really want him to go on live is let's be truthful. Let's be honest here. You're scared of what he's going to say. Like you're scared that he will finally show receipts. And if you keep pushing him, love, he will. He will. Eventually he will show everything and then you'll have nothing to hide behind and honestly, I can't wait for that to happen <laughs> Now I've just felt so sad watching Ryan because he still loves Gypsy. I mean, he's still crying I don't want to put up that whole video because it's embarrassing for him. He was even crying in one of his lives I mean, it's it's actually quite sad to watch. She doesn't care. She doesn't care I mean, she's just happy flaunting her little whatever's claiming to be low. Oh, yeah Another bit too, I found absolutely hilarious. Like she says, oh, because she's a Leo, uh, apparently she's just like her star sign. I, I'm not, I don't know much about all the star signs, as you know, but apparently they're supposed to be very loyal Leos. And apparently she's just like that. I mean that, I mean, I found that very funny. I have to show you. What is my zodiac sign? I'm a Leo. I'm very, very much my sign. So, uh, Leos are, for the most part, very loyal. <laughs> um, they're loyal to their friends. Um, they're very proud. Uh, have a lot of courage. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know, when I, you know, said loyal, I know. I'm, I'm a loyal friend, just because I wasn't loyal to my marriage doesn't make me not loyal. I think you can ask any of my friends. I have really good friends. I might have stayed up past midnight because one of my friends was having a crisis. Stayed up with her. So that cracked me up when I saw that part because I'm thinking, I don't see any loyalty in you. I mean, for starters, you're never loyal to your mother. <laughs> Where was the loyalty there? And what friends? I mean, she had to change it when the people said, oh, you cheated on your husband. She's like, oh, but I'm loyal to my friends. What friends? Apparently you dropped all the friends you made in prison and you didn't have friends when you're with your mum. So what friends are we talking about here? So I'm not sure where this loyalty is. The, the, what, what, you know? Like, where's the loyalty? I'm curious where that is. So I'm not seeing it. Let me know if you see it. <laughs> I don't see it. Anyway, so... Those are the clips that I've seen so far. There are more that I found interesting that I want to, you know, talk about with you guys, but they refer more to the show, the Life After Lockup show. And because I haven't seen it yet, I need to get that context first before I start talking about their responses to it. So once I see the episode, which I, I, I'm going to get around to it, me and Jane Lee, we've just our schedules aren't lining up. Like, I've been unwell, she's starting to get unwell. We just haven't had a chance to meet up because we want to do this together. So once we do finally get off our backsides and, you know, meet up and watch the show, we're going to review it, obviously, and then I'm going to start talking about their responses, which I found very interesting. But yeah, anyway, let me know what you guys think of all those little clips today. I just found it interesting how Gypsy keeps trying to make Ryan to be this horrible aggressive like you know this horrible I'm just not seeing it I'm not seeing it and Gypsy you could easily show us 
Like, show us that he's aggressive, you know? Where are these text messages? Where's the 41,000 text messages? I'm referring to the baby reindeer, if you guys haven't seen that show. Uh, where are these text messages? Where's his phone calls? Where's all this aggressiveness? Like, I want to see it. Show the, show the conversation, unless, you know, Ken maybe, have, I reckon Ken might have said something in that conversation too that you might want to hide. But, um, and I'm sure Ryan, he's got receipts. I'd love to see Ryan's receipts. I'm sure there's plenty there, and I'm sure Gypsy's scared about that. So, you know, she should be worried about him going on live, I think. But anyway, I just found that interesting. found it interesting that she keeps trying to paint Ryan in this disgusting, horrible light. And I'm not buying it. I don't think you guys are buying it too. Let me know what you guys think of all that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.